Introduce Hafsa Abdullahi. Uh, she was born in San Diego, um, California, and she's from Hilliard, Ohio. She is an Achieve Scholar. She earned honor roll and has maintained a 4.0 GPA all throughout high school. Um, she's extremely involved in community um, health organizations, and um, she's been in bodies and rocks and much more. Um, she hopes to enter the medical field and hopes to inshallah go back to Somalia and hopefully build a women's clinic. Um, next up, I'll be introducing Hafsa. Um, please help me welcome her to the stage. Good evening. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who came here. And I just wanted to let everyone know that this event wouldn't be here f for the people, it wouldn't be here if the people who weren't here um, just didn't decide to pitch it. Um, I'd like to thank my family, especially my mother, for all the dedication and love she has given me and taught in me. Um, now, I'd like to uh, not have a drawn out speech because I want to give two essential pieces that has pushed me to where I am now. One of these pieces I learned from one of my good teachers and it was respect. Respect for me was a 
uh, cumulative word, it was respect for myself to push myself uh, because I had this great opportunity. I lived in a good country and had free public schooling. And it's when you do right by the people who are around you. My mother, she worked every day so hard. My father, he would come home very late and I knew by their effort, I had to put in more effort to to show them respect. Um, the second thing I have want to give back to you guys is a thing called grit. Grit's a factor that determines how far a person will go. It's, it's hard work. It determines the difference between someone who is very intelligent but won't do a lot of work between a hard person, a working person who will go farther. It's the passion for what you care about. And if you put the dedication into the smallest things, it shows dedication and it builds habit and character. So with these two things, I'd like to say no matter what challenges we may be presented in the next stages of our life, the moment is now to better ourselves. Um, I'd like to uh, quote my Angelo, she's, she's my favorite poet. Um, she said this, my mission in life is not to merely survive, but to thrive, and to do so with passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. Passion, you have to put dedication in everything you do. If you don't, like, what are you working for? It's nothing. Compassion, we're all brothers and sisters in this world and we have to sh lean on each other and support each other. Thank you, Hafsa, for your wise words. I appreci I really agree with the laugh part. I feel like people don't, don't take it seriously. It really helps to laugh. But let me congr um, thank her one more time. She's also going to be in the scholarship, so good luck, inshallah. Um, next, I would like to introduce Dr. Abdunur Sheikh Mohammed to the podium. Dr. Abdunur Sheikh Mohammed is the former Minister of Education in Somalia and currently works at the Ohio Department of Education. He's a founding member of the organizing committee of the Somali Graduation and Scholarships Program, one of the most celebrated uh, programs in Columbus, Ohio for the Somali community. Dr. Abdunur's speech is titled, Seven Years of Celebrating Academic Excellence in the, uh, Academic Excellence in the Somali Community. Please give me a hand in welcoming Dr. Abdunur Sheikh Mohammed. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أريد ما قلت سيوي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good evening Good evening هبين وناكسن مساء الخير I bring greetings to all of you from the State Superintendent of Education who could not be with us here tonight but sends his greetings to all of you, especially to the graduates and to the parents on a job well done, on a journey that took many, many years, on a new face that you're beginning uh, from now on to go to colleges and universities and, and move on with your lives. So I bring greetings to the, from the Department of Education that I work, a department that is working day and night to improve the quality of education for all Ohioans. And I'm really grateful that the Somali community of Columbus, Ohio has come tonight to celebrate the success of its, of its students, to celebrate and show this community how much they support education, and to show our children that we support them, the community supports them, the parents support them, and that we want to make sure that our community shows to the larger community that the Somali community values education. 
that we value education, that we want our kids, our youth to succeed in high school, to succeed in college, and beyond. So we want to highlight every year in this occasion, the seventh year that this program has been done, in which our leadership in the city of Columbus, Ohio, in the great state of Ohio, have been able to come and participate, whether it's a congressional member, whether it's a city council, whether it's a mayor, or whether it's a governor, uh, they all have come to support this community, to show uh, how appreciative they are in the 10 or 15 years that the Somalis have been in Ohio, and how much progress that they have made. Education is important. As you know, Ohio has a large, diverse students who speak more than 110 languages. 110 languages. And Somali is one of them. They speak from Albanian to Zulu. A to Z, right? and many languages between them. When I make that joke, a lot of people say, but that's only 26, Albanian to Zulu. <laughs> but there are many languages that have the same letters that, that, that share. So Somali uh, shares many languages that are with, start with S, Arabic shares with many languages that are with A, and so on and so forth. But we have 110 languages. And what do you know? The Spanish is by far the largest second language spoken by Ohioans. Second language. First language being English, that everybody speaks. But the first second language spoken by Ohioans in the school is Spanish. The second language, second to Spanish, is Drumbeat. Somali. How many of you knew that? He knows that. Somali being the, the second uh, language spoken. And the third is Arabic. Third is Arabic. Now the fourth language, I will, I will test our Ohioans here. The fourth language spoken by Ohio's non-native speakers is a language spoken by students whose parents are not immigrants, whose parents did not come from a country outside of the United States. They are Ohioans, and they speak a language other than English. Other than Professor Walters, who else would tell me what this language is? Amish, Amish is a name of an ethnic community. <laughs> I'm asking for a language. Yes. German Dutch. Thank you. It's called Pennsylvania Dutch, which is a form of a German language, spoken by the Amish communities of Ohio. If you, if you go to, you probably will not see them in Franklin County, but if you go to counties in the north, um, Wayne County, uh, Holmes County, uh, that whole area of, of, of um, central, north central Ohio, you will find a lot of Amish students who come, Amish Pennsylvania Dutch speaking students who come to the classroom, and they are, like Somali students, English language learners. English language learners. So the Ohio Department of Education provides supports to the students and the families to ensure that they succeed in the school. And we see that a lot of the Somali students in the Columbus Public Schools, uh, Hilliard, um, Southwestern, uh, Groveport, uh, all these region in Ohio, Hilliard, uh, there are many, many Somali-speaking students who have been successful in learning the language and excelling in academics. In academics. And we've had, uh, in the past year, students who have been accepted into uh, scholarships, national scholarships, who five, ten years ago were second language learners, 
and now where they are at the top of their classes in the United States competing for Rhodes Scholar, competing for Fulbright scholarships, as well as two scholarships at Ohio State and other institutions. So we have come a long way, thanks to the teachers, to the educators, to the parents, to the community, to everybody here who supported you, who supported all of our students in their journey to succeed in a school. Let's give them hand to the teachers, to the educators, to everybody who works. As the African proverb that was copied or, or maybe shared by our presidential candidate Hillary Clinton, it takes a village to take to raise a child, right? Do you remember that? Or many of you don't remember that? It takes a village to raise a child is an African expression that says that it takes parents, grandparents, neighbors, the whole village, the community, to tell you what to do. If you skip classes, you don't have to see your parents for, for them to know. Somebody will see you and say, hey, he was not in school today, and you are in trouble. So that family, that large community is needed here as well. And this is what this village is, so that we support one another in this journey that we are, uh, uh, as we are, we are succeeding in the United States. So we need everyone to support the education, that these children are, are, are doing, and that we should not even leave the parents alone in this job. That you and me, the ulama, the religious groups, the, the uh, uh, professionals in the community, the parents, the uh, non-profit organizations, everybody should be involved in ensuring that we create that village to make sure that our students succeed in the school. It's very important. Our, for our community to know that education begins at home. Education begins with the mom and dad. Education begins on how you communicate with, each, with your child at home before they are even enrolled in pre-kindergarten. So mothers and fathers, you should communicate with your child in a way that is meaningful that is educative, that, is, that, that creates you know, um, a love for learning for your child. That in the traditional Somali culture, which I know that I'm one of those that still hold to those traditional values, we used to tell the kids, don't talk when adults are around. Don't ask questions. It is the adults who are talking. Is that correct? Yes, there are times where we have to respect the uh, adults, grandparents, parents when they're talking. But then if you have a question and the child has a reasonable uh, question that they want to ask, we should allow them to ask and then we should give them time to respond to that question so that they are able to understand the conversation, the adult conversation that is taking place. And that children should be welcome to share ideas and thoughts and that everybody around the table dinner table at home should be communicating. So we need to encourage the young to be able to start early on to discuss and, and, and be part of the conversation in the house. And Ola Leal, Ujjidada Hafladan Loq Abtawa Haytahay, in Walidinta, Iyo Ardayda, Somalia, Degan, أما كنا والله واحدة يوم هذا ذا كلام سوهايو أو كلا دكتا سكولة كلا تدون أو نوعي كلا له أو أرد ذا أكو قرصيهن أردي كلا أجنبية أو سومالي ذا أنتي ذا كلا إسم كور قبل هؤلاء يقبطان يوناج إسمايان إلا هلا حفلة إسوك أنت أو أكو مجيان سومالي المدود يدعون كور يعاد ذا ذا أو عروت ذا يوناج إسمايان يهرمك أي جارين أي مارتي ولا فرحان أي ولا غير سلام وجدنا خلوا كل جتوا واحد هاي إن أنا هلا سنة كم مرة أنا أسوي إيمانه وأنا وناجي نموجنه وأنا نموجنه ده كوالله هنا هي عرضة وحبرة معلمين تا 
أما ما رأيتي مديرة سكولة أو دقة إن أركان إن كميونتي ولا يهاي إسو إماشو إن ولا يهاي موافقة إن القيمة يعني وحبر شذا إن يدق مرتجلين كران إن يدق سودوين كران مركو حائلة ما ديزا نوراله نرمان صوت ياري إن أرتاس أنا ورد النوى ذا فكرين أو فرد كفاية نذا نذا سعرين وحنا جعلنا هدول هاي راه إن السنة دول بسعته العروت إن أنا عن ترتن كوح برشدة بلال كوح برشدة عن غيب في عنك قلنا محيا لسه هذا سعتان أرضي بدنا الصومالية أي واحد قال نمبر كو لا يصدح ودن كان يقبل كان كده لي أو قاركود هلاي سكولر شبيه وعالمية قاركود هلاي سكولر شبيه وبارتي جامعة وهذا سعتان قبل الصومالية الدقريد من السويتة أو أبلا جريسي سديد أي ميليك سكولز سديد جامعة ولا جامعة ده هو عن سندلكا. أو سديد بقى أقبلين. أمريكا كم دعوة؟ سديد بقى أقبلين. البروفيسور جميل حوش هذا وقف سديد جامعة ولا ساسو كلا أبلا جريسي إنه عاون اللي جوجو سديد ولا أقبلين. إن شاء الله وأنا لاند أن هذه الله يراده مبروك نحى. الجبل يميل حوش هذا. أرمها سكر وأرمها إذا عدا الله كل شيء هو لموجيو ذات كان لموجا إن قحوتيهن أو أي كي ما دين دل بربرسن أو دباتيسن إن يحبر شذا أي ترتن في عنقلي كران أو نمبر ون نقان كران إيه اللقدي إيه علاسي ذي كل الجري إيه دباتي ذي كل الجري من عن تلسق الريحي وحبر شذا النمبر ون لا قالي وهذا من فضل ربي وحن جعله بعرة إنتاسو إن إن قط ديرجلين أنا قرنا عن كفاية السنة وحن لا يا هاي إن congratulations وحن لا يا هاي والدين تم هات سندين وحن لا يا هاي سمالة community عن إنت عن إنك بدنا عن سمينه عن سند والبكسة وقيب قلنا عن أريم عنو خلاص كتير عيرنا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Thank you so much, Dr. Abdul Sheikh Mohammed. Um, that's true. We don't talk about the good in our community. There's a lot of good, and um, I'm sure you guys know the hashtag Somali Excellence. That's what this night's all about. For those of you guys who don't know, it's, it's some social media thing, but um, that's what it's all about. Somali Excellence. Um, appreciating it, inshallah, because you cannot, you cannot it's like aspire to be anything if you don't have role models and if you don't have active people um, who are inspiring you and showing you that it's possible. So next I'll be welcoming um, Dr. Abdikhair Shofe. He's the Community Relations Coordinator for the Community Relations Commissions and the Mayor's New American Initiative for the City of Columbus. Abdikhair works on issues of civil rights, diversity, and inclusion for New Americans, um, particularly the African um, community, um, especially the Somali one, which is the second largest in the United States in, um, that's here in Columbus. Um, Sofa will welcome and introduce elected and public officials who joined us this evening to celebrate the educational achievements of our graduates. Please help me welcome Abdikhair Sofa. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. It is a beautiful night and I'm absolutely honored to be here with you tonight. Um, you know, I do kind of travel on behalf of the city of Columbus and I was at the White House last last uh, couple of weeks ago. Uh, people always ask uh, from other cities, from Denver all the way south and Atlanta and California, why Columbus? Why Columbus has the second largest Somali community and, and, and they talked about uh, the vibrant Somali community and the contribution. But what people don't know is Columbus, in fact, is one of the smartest city in the whole world. Matter of fact, the only city that made the list by awarded by intelligent communities. And the reason why is because of you, because of uh, so many different colleges that provide opportunities. Uh, the more people are educated, the more smart people will be, right? But I'm here, I'm not here to speak about Columbus and how Columbus is smart, but I wanted to congratulate you, congratulate the parents. I absolutely agree with uh, Brother Horset and uh, Dr. Abdinur. I was listening uh, uh, very deeply and I was uh, absolutely uh, moved by the history and the background. I would like to congratulate the uh, graduates. I heard we have someone who has 4.0, oh, 4.7, matter of fact, uh, who is going to Harvard. 
was actually accepted by her. And uh, uh, congratulations to the parents. Uh, we, you made it. Uh, I always talk about in Africa and in Somalia, people don't use insurance system and retirement and 401k. People use their kids. That's your insurance. You raise them properly, you educate them properly, and then when you, yeah, they'll take care of you, right? When you get old, like me, you're getting old soon. But uh, I, it is absolutely a great honor to welcome, we have an elect, elected official from this city, the city of Columbus, uh, two council members. First, I would like to, uh, and he does need an introduction. Matter of fact, he uh, was a <laughs> state representative for a long time, have accomplished a, a champion for change, uh, community, moving community, especially with the business communities, and in community empowerment. But we're very fortunate to have him uh, elected within the city of Columbus. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome uh, Council Member Stenziano. Good evening, everyone. Unfortunately, I cannot name drop uh, being at the White House last week, uh, but I know what a wonderful job they did uh, representing our city. Uh, it's truly an honor to be with you this evening and congratulate all the graduates uh, on this accomplishment and participating in the scholarship. I apologize for the feedback. Um, to the parents, thank you for being so involved and in putting education uh, for your children, uh, for your family first. Uh, education truly is a gateway for all of us. I know when I was growing up in Columbus, I viewed and didn't realize just how important education was going to play in my life. It provided an opportunity to go overseas, uh, to see other government systems, and to participate in uh, policy making from around the world. And so I encourage you all to take and stay committed to pursuing uh, higher education, if that's college, uh, if that's a trade, uh, because that will continue to be a doorway for opportunities uh, that you don't even know about. Uh, I really, really uh, can't emphasize that just taking that leap of faith and pursuing that additional degree, uh, pursuing that additional education opportunity is going to be something of immense value. Uh, to the sponsors, thank you for uh, your uh, investing in these students and these parents uh, and looking forward to seeing the scholarships and finally uh, as mentioned our city our community uh, is greater because of the role education plays in it and so thank you all uh, for your commitment not only at tonight's dinner but continuing to look for opportunities where education is going to continue to play a role not only to make us a smart city uh, but a very inclusive one so thank you for the opportunity to be here and good luck and congratulations in advance to the scholarship winners um, thank you uh, council member Stiziano. and now please help me welcome the newest no, she's not actually that newest. We have other new, newer, even newer uh, uh, council members. Uh, she is the chair of the administration. That is the mayor's office and the city hall administration for the council, ladies and gentlemen, Elizabeth Brown. Thank you so much. Um, as Abdi said, my name is Elizabeth Brown. I'm a Columbus City Council member. And I want to thank you for welcoming Council Member Cinziano and me here tonight uh, to participate in an incredible celebration of achievement. Um, what these students do every day, going into classrooms, um, doing their best, showing up, and, um, and ultimately graduating. It is, it is something that I hope they're, they're doing for themselves, but really, when it comes down to it, education is the most important economic development issue that we can fight here in Columbus. And so when you go into a classroom every day, students, and you put your best foot forward, and you graduate, and you move on um, to continue to, to better yourself and to educate yourself, you're not only um, opening up opportunities for yourself, but you're opening up opportunities for your entire community and for your entire city. Um, so I just want to thank you for doing that and as Council Member Stinziano so aptly put, to also thank the parents um, for, for giving their, for encouraging um, your, your students, your children to do their very best. Um, I want to offer my congratulations in advance to the scholarship winners and to again say thank you for having us here. 
Thank you, um, Abdi Khair, and also the council members. We would not be here without them, without all their hard work where it matters. Um, we can't always, they fight for us. So thank you. Can I get another round of applause for the council members? Okay. Next, I would like to introduce Professor, Professor um, Jibril Mohammed. Um, he's a faculty member at Ohio State University. He actually used to be my old Somali professor and the director of the Somali CAN. He's a founding member of the organizing committee of the Somali Graduation and Scholarships Program. Jibril will recognize program sponsors and explain the um, scholarship pro award process. Please help me um, welcome Jibril. Uh, thank you, Saab. Uh, Bismillah. Okay, once again, uh, thank you very much for coming, for joining us in this celebration, in this beautiful evening. Uh, thanks to the parents, congratulations to the graduates, thanks to the sponsors. Um, the most exciting part of the celebration is coming up. That's the selection of the scholarship winners. Uh, we will be uh, selecting, as I said, uh, 12 of randomly selected scholarship recipients. Uh, we will put balls, transparent balls, glass balls out there, one with all the names of boys and one with the names of all the girls, and we will pick out six from each, and those will be our winners for the night, and each winner will receive $500. No strings attached. Nobody wants anything from you. Do good for yourself. Thank you very much for doing the best you could do. Thank you for graduating. We appreciate you. We are proud of you. We are proud of your achievement. Um, there will also be a, a scholarship that consists of a, uh, it will be a $1,000 award to the student with the highest GPA. And we have all the names and the information of students. If you have not registered at the front, please go, put your name down, put your information down, show proof of your GPA, and you will be able to enter. Now at this time, I would like the council members and the organizing committee to join me in recognizing the uh, sponsors of this beautiful event. Um, I w we will call the sponsors one by one, and I would like everybody to get up. Each sponsor will be called upon, and when they are called, I would like them to step in and come in and say congratulatory remarks to the graduates and the parents and the community, and we will, they will receive awards from our elected officials. Okay, so the first and obviously the most important sponsor of the annual Somali graduation and scholarship program is the Flickinger Legal Group. The Flickinger Legal Group has been supporting this program from its inception since 2010 and the Flickinger Legal Group provides 11 of the 13 scholarships that we're giving out tonight. We appreciate their support. Uh, Justin Flickinger will make a few remarks and then the awards will be given. Welcome, Justin. I want to congratulate all the, all the students. You did a great job graduating. For me, education has been one of the most important things with what I do. See, my father, he told me, he said, after you graduate from college, he said, you gotta really think about whether or not you wanna also go on to get your, your Juris Doctorate, to become a lawyer. And so I decided since my father was doing it, I should do it as well. So I chose to walk down the same path as my father. But what I, what I found is the most important thing is making sure you find something that you love in this world something you find that you can make a difference and that you can help your community. So if there's anything I'll leave you with, it's that. So thank you very much and congratulations again. Thank you. The second sponsor that we would like to recognize tonight is Fitad Bank. 
Fitad Bank has been sponsoring this program for the past few years, and they are one of the most consistent, most reliable sponsors. It's the Fitad Bank location on Cleveland Avenue near Ennis Road, and they have one of our most active community members, Amran Ahmed, as an employee there as well. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum, friends. At Fifth Third, we continue to invest the time, the resources, and the people to help improve our lives and the communities that we serve. We understand the importance of giving back to our communities. It's been a great honor to uh, be a sponsor for this scholarship program for the past three years. We really want to extend our sincere congratulations to the graduates, the recipients, and their families. Thank you. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salam ya magi guha amran shaykh Ahmed. Dad badan a wuhi iwa diyan community leaders kuma kujirta hatta kohar. Lakin ane ku community leaders mu kujiri wuha kashqaya bangi ufitard. I'm community supporter. Ad ay aagu farhsan ha aaw inak saqib kale halaf dam qurux dab badan. Oo lugu support karaan ay ilmi hana Somaliyad. I'm so proud ina arku mihi hebe Somali sidan saksiir waa oo qurux badan. You are my road model, and mashallah, who you think is a bias? She should have been able to learn more than in time. Can be done. I am mother of two, mashallah, and I think I'm happy to be here with the 15 kids. Who I think could be that, and I am so proud to support my community. At the same time, I'm a employee. I'm not just a mother. I'm a mother of two. وحوايسنا تكسر دحاد أو سكولرشيب أي سين عيان كومينتي الصومالي ذا لاست فور يرس أو شقين عيان أمان تي وناعك كومينتي جينا عيان مالين كستار كاي ريمبر لاست يير مركي محي هذا سكولرشيب كأن سيدانو كل سوق هذا نه نيكست داي ويب سايت كفيتر بنك نيوز بيبر كود عيال سوق ليه صومالي كومينتي إن أورجانيزيشن كود يكرادويشن محي هذا سكولرشيب كأي سين عيان إلا كاليفورنيا اللي قد داونا عي I'm so proud of you guys you are good example for my people, you have to show me hey, 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 and what they can and job no in an head of this could do one or cook an accent in a him hey hey when I get an OCA in so what they can do about the button a kid and I like him we are so proud in and so mal in the high I'm so happy now one of you and I hey guys so my little no auto that's one of my favorite words that I spoke now I have him on that Next, I would like to call upon the Franklin County Children's Services. Franklin County Children's Services has been a sponsor of this program from its inception for the past seven years, and we have Deb Armstrong here who will receive the awards on their behalf. Uh, good evening, everyone. On behalf of Franklin County Children's Services, I certainly want to honor each of the young people who have graduated. Um, you know, family, families are the foundation for our communities. And all the children, all the young people here, you are the gifts. You're the gifts, and so we certainly honor and appreciate all of you. And you know, education is something that you achieve, that you will carry with you forever. It's something that no one can take from you. It's something that's not only personal, but it's, it's the opportunity, as the speakers have said before, to be a, a, an inspiration and to give back to, to your communities. And so I just appreciate the opportunity on behalf of Franklin County Children's Services to, to say congratulations and to honor each and every one of you. You're all wonderful. Thank you. Next, I would like to call on Kesos. Is anyone from Kesos here? Okay. Kesos has also been a sponsor of this program from its inception. It's a Medicaid managed care plan, and it has been supportive of our community for the past seven years. I will receive the certificate. Thank you. Got it. Okay. 
Uh, next, I would like to call uh, the Columbus Community Relations Commission and Abdisofe. Uh, the CRC has been a sponsor of this event, and I would like to recognize Napoleon Bell, who is here, who has been the former director of the Community Relations Commission, who has been very supportive of this program. Please give him a hand. Thank you. Um, again, um, on behalf of uh, the Community Relations Commission, matter of fact, my boss, uh, the newly formed director of the neighborhoods, who is uh, the Department of Neighborhoods is part of uh, uh, the newly formed, was actually formed last year. And the director is walking in as I speak, matter of fact, and I will be honored to, ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome the newly appointed director of the Department of the Neighborhoods in which the Community Relations Commission is part of it now as a division, uh, Ms. Carla Williams Scott. Good evening, everyone, and please accept my apologies for um, being late. I, along with our council members and our mayor and some other clergy of our community, were ha um, invited to a city an evening prayer service. Um, this past week has been uh, really tumultuous for our community and for our city and for our nation. And so we wanted to just come together as a city to pray for those individuals that have lost their lives and to pray for our um, public safety officials who are working to help us. So again, please accept my apologies. Um, it's great to be here with you this evening on this occasion where we're recognizing some of our young Somali students for their accomplishments in the academic field and in our community. I am pleased to see that so many of you are here, graduation leaders. I think this is the seventh year that we have been here and are able to celebrate with you. Um, thank you again to all of our other elected officials in attendance, and I'd like to recognize Jabri Jabril Muhammad of Somali Can for organizing this event, and Dr. Abdinur Muhammad as a champion of the community. And to thank you for all the sponsors who have helped to put this together. You know, I know you know very well that our Somali community is growing, and we're, you're well known for being family oriented and with the generosity and taking care of your family members. And so I congratulate all of you young individuals that have completed and graduated this year. I'm sure that was no easy task. I remember a time back, it's been a while, but I was probably sitting in a um, ceremony similar to yourselves and you're sitting there wondering, okay, I've done this, now what? But you need to know that your community loves you, that we support you, and that we encourage you to continue to move forward, to do better, to grow, and to be able to come back. And, and hopefully, if you leave Columbus, that you'll come back and to be here and, um, and help us as we move forward. Um, I think Abdi mentioned a little bit about our new department. And so um, this is, I'll be starting my second week in the new job. Um, tomorrow, so it's very new. But this, the Department of Neighborhoods comprises the Community Relations Commission, um, the City Services 311 Call Center, and our Neighborhood Services Division and Neighborhood Pride programs. And so over the next several months, you will see members of our team coming out into the community to talk to you, to get to know you, and to find out what your needs are and what some of your issues and concerns are. Um, again, we're a very new department. While the mayor um, began or uh, decided that he wanted to have this department shortly after he came into office, uh, we're just actually getting started. And so it'll take us a few months to get everything together and to get um, um, all the three departments that we're merging together. But we will be coming out in the community. Again, to our students, I want you to work hard to succeed give back to your family and to your community. What you have accomplished is no easy feat. And so I want you to know that your community is proud of you, that we love you, and that we wish you much success in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Director Carla. That was timely. Um, next, I would like to call 
the Bakai Ranch. The Bakai Ranch is a youth services agency that and youth services, including uh, case management and outreach and mental health services. And the Bakai Ranch has been a sponsor of this program for the past several years. Mahdi is here. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, on behalf of the Bakai Ranch, uh, I would like to uh, congratulate the organiz organizers. Uh, you know, they have one quality that is very rare among the Somali organizations, which is persistence. They were doing this for the last seven years. Congratulations. And congratulations to the graduates and their families. And we wish you well for whatever endeavor you decided for yourself uh, uh, in your next chapter of your life. Bakai Ranch is, uh, for those of you who never heard us before, it's a mental health and behavioral health services. We only service the youth, 18 and younger. And we have a program called Somali Outreach Program. Um, if there is somebody from Senate Academy, Senate Academy is the second, is the next uh, sponsor that we would like to recognize. And Senate Academy was here from the beginning. Sheikh Mosa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I want to congratulate for the uh, graduationists. Marco Hara wa hanjala ina nuham baliyayo. Arde den osub. Karin jubini is sanat kaan. Ano wakil ka az Zanna Academy. Zanna Academy wa school, high school, middle school. Iyo duksa hose. Wa yaw shakayna sanat ki kuri tabnaat. Iyo shakayna ya. Marka ahad ba yinaw farah sanay ina an. Ka qayb ka adana program kaan asaga. این تو سوی جریان که قبلا دیدنی نی، مرکا کامن کابیاشا دو مسیحیم و جزاکم الله خیر و سلام علیکم و رحمت الله برکات. Next, I would like to invite the Ohio State University College of Social Work. The College of Social Work is the newest sponsor of this program. Uh, they are interested in recruiting students into the program. They have some opportunities and they will discuss that. Hello, good evening. On behalf of the College of Social Work, I'd like to first congratulate all of the graduates and scholarship recipients on this evening. Um, this year, uh, like uh, Mohammed um, Jabril uh, mentioned, we uh, formalized our partnership um, with organization into the Buckeye Ranch to increase our efforts to not just engage, um, but to support and serve the Somali community. And so through the years to come, we look forward to um, increasing our efforts um, to not only serve you more, but support you more as well. Uh, we have an interest in engaging you all in, in regards to the social profession. And so we look forward to increasing our efforts in, in that avenue, avenue as well. Um, at, the, at the College of Social, we have a model that says embrace justice, embrace justice, see change. And we would encourage you all to do that just as we do the same, especially in regards to everything that's happening in our communities nowadays. So thank you again for this time, and um, we are, I congratulate you again. Thanks. Thank you, and I would like to acknowledge that Sister Khadra Mohammed has a master's degree in social work from the Ohio State University's College of Social Work. <laughs> Next, I would like to call Denison University. Denison University has been sponsoring this program from the beginning, and Dr. Anita Waters is here. She's a friend of the Somali community. I can tell you stories about the impact this young lady has had on our community. Um, I have to tell this one. So Dr. Waters was doing some research and she found out that there were some young Somalis who were in the local uh, you know, incarceration systems. And you know, they are Muslims, they need to fast, they need to pray. There were no arrangements, there were no accommodations for them. The only accommodation that was available for them was to go with Christian, Christian inmates 
on Sundays. That's the only thing that was available to them. So she reached out to the community. She said, hey guys, I saw this. What can you do about it? And we had to go to the mosques. And the mosque imams had to train to become imams within the prison system to help those inmates so that they can be rehabilitated. So she is somebody who really cares about this community. Okay. Good evening. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, uh, everyone. Um, uh, thank you, Jabril. I think you're giving me far much, uh, too much credit there. Um, but I'm happy to be here, uh, and uh, we have participated, I think, uh, since the beginning of, of the Somali graduation ceremony. Um, and we really I want to extend our congratulations to the graduates and to the families of the graduates and to the organizers of the Somali graduation ceremony. But I also want to use this opportunity to um, tell you about something we're really excited about in uh, at Denison that might uh, have an impact, I hope, in the Somali community in Columbus and that is I invite you to take a flyer next year we're starting a Denison Columbus Alliance scholarship and starting next year and we're going to be giving up to 20 full uh, graduating seniors from Columbus Public Schools they'll be offered a scholarship for that covers the full cost of tuition for four years at Denison which is a substantial amount of money um, and uh, uh, it comes along with mentoring support and some other support and also uh, 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 some community building among the group of people that come from Columbus and we'll, uh, we want to see applicants who have ex uh, um, shown leadership in their community and in their high schools and I immediately thought about the Somali community. I know we have excellent students in this community and I really hope to see more um, of you applying for this uh, scholarship and coming to Denison in the future. So pick up a, a flyer and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, next, I would like to invite to the podium a representative of Hiran Online, a Somali news website that has been given a scholarship for the past three years. Abdul Ghadir Ali Abdi is here. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I don't have to call the Afghan city of Ohio. Oh, Somali. Oh, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not أول رئيس سومالي ولا سامي قرر وحياه رنتها السمر كاسنا إدي تذكرية وحيل لا صدره محمد مهدو علنيا أردي لكراجويت كريسي الله بيتوصل سكول صوتي كنيسي دوالت كود أبى هوي أيه هورير ولا ولا أبوه all of them هيا نو مهدو علنيا وحنا هذا نقولنا هاي هذا يدين بلا وتشي كذا الله بيتوصل سكول صوتي كنيسي دوالت كود أبى هوي أيه هورير ولا ولا أبوه all of them هيا نو مهدو علنيا وحنا هذا نقولنا هاي هذا يدين بلا وتشي كذا Next, I would like to invite Midnimo Middle School. Midnimo Malin Abdi. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, we will keep it for them. Uh, next, I would like to invite uh, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Uh, the Columbus Zoo has been sponsoring this program for the past two years. Anyone from Columbus Zoo? I'll keep it for them too. <laughs> yeah, short speeches. Okay. Uh, next, I would like to invite the United Way of Central Ohio. I think no one from them is here too. Just acknowledge. Thank you. That's uh -huh, okay. Uh, next, I would like to invite 
Mass Youth Center. Mass Youth Center is a masjid, a community center, a youth education uh, center that has been supporting this program from the beginning. Brother Abu Karsane is here. Welcome. Uh, can I see the graduates rising up? Huh? Can I see the graduates standing? Stand the, the graduates. Can you stand up? Yeah, I want you to pledge with me one, I mean, few words, okay? So raise your hand. I pledge to continue my path to education and help my community. Thank you. Uh, I am very happy to be here and I'm also very proud to, uh, to be a mass member as we have been supporting this program for the last seven years. Uh, it's very crucial that we continue the education because we need that. As a community we cannot develop unless we have young people who are educated, young people who are committed to help the community. It's very crucial. So keep that in mind, inshallah ta'ala, and that will stay with you as long as you are alive. It's very important. Uh, also, I need to uh, thank my brother Jibril and also Dr. Adunur for doing this uh, for the last seven years. As Brother Mahdi said, consistency is very important. So our community cannot do anything unless we have consistency of doing the things that we do and also making it perfect. Not only doing it, but also perfection. Very important. Thank you very much, and I hope you are. Next, I would like to call a Somali business, Twinkle Star Child Care Center, which has been a sponsor of this program from the beginning. Twinkle Star? On behalf of the Twinkle Star Child Care Center, who has helped on behalf of Twinkle Star Child Care Center, who has helped this event happen for the past few years, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2016 and to the scholarship winners. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Enhanced Home Health of Columbus. Enhanced Health? Um, Next, I would like to invite the Somali Students Association at the Ohio State University. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you on behalf of the entire SSA Executive Board. Um, yeah, congratulations to everyone. I really don't know what to say. Uh, we've had some amazing speakers, um, but congratulations. If you guys are at the OSU campus, make sure to check us out. We've got events all throughout the year. Uh, pretty much we're to raise awareness of Somali culture on campus, um, and then also be a representation of the diverse and large. Uh, and then also, uh, a little antidote that I just want to give to all the graduates. Um, I was in your position not too long ago, almost two years ago, uh, and you know, there's a lot of change that will go on. So uh, keep your head up. You've got your family, you've got your friends, ask questions. There are people out there who are going to help you out. Uh, so on behalf of the entire SSA board, uh, I'd like to say thank you, congratulations, uh, and good luck. Thank you. Now, I would like to invite to the podium a community media organization that's not expecting this, Delmar TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The man that comes to yoga, Kaso Kaib Gala Ine Diri Giliyan, Ardai Somaliyat, or Damaisatay, School Ladar. 
سيد او صاحب كي حور كو شاقي و هادا اي ادين بلابت و حاسي قارا او مهد علنا يا جبريل يا عبد النور يا سومالي كان انا مرو البوحان جعلنا اينا دي رجل انو وحب رشادا سوبتا انو دي رجلنا اينا وحب كلمة اها هل هذا هو قابطي وحكى لما ها إن أرضي ذهني أما أبد كان سوماليات أي نقضان كوكو قوليستا مستقبل كودا هاب نولات كودا نقضان كوكو لسو نقضا بلشدي أي كدشين فائدو إيه وحتر تسالة أهان قفك أنا ينقمي ذا أبد يرأه أي وحبرتي وحو وانا كل سو نقونا يا ابو الشديس تاس بدل كيد هدي عنو جيرا عن وحلا برين اقلاق دا لغاد السين لا تربيينين وحو ديبكو نقونا يا قرغي او كدح شي اما ابو الشدي او كدح دا شي ايو ديباتو كل سو نقونا يا مركا كل مدن او كلا وحي تاي ان لدي رجل يو لغونا دادالو سيدا او كلا وحا امت علنا يا دمان داد كي كقيب قاتي ان اي دي رجل يان او رودي كلا دوانا قوبي غنا حسيقا ايو لبا الشركة دا ها Thank you. Finally, I will receive awards for Somalikan for organizing this event for the past seven years. <laughs> and with that, I would like to have my, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the ladies and gentlemen behind me have a seat so that we can get started with the selection process of the scholarship, the most important act of the night. خاب هو قب جلان برنامج كان أو يوم مهد إليان والدين تا عالك جوجا برك سيسر سفيا وحكي انت هديه ده أو إلا إلا بيت طبعا أو لسوق رحية أو هو يمكن ألعبت إسكو رحيانة I like to say this in in English as well before we start the scholarship announcements we wanted to give gift to the mothers of the graduates and my uh, friend here, Sister Safiya, has provided to the group 12 gifts of uh, beauty items for mothers to say thank you for producing and for the hard work that you have done. Safiya, would you like to come and say anything? Assalamu alaikum everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the program. مرك هو يكستو واحد وقعد تاو ودن كان جوكتو شقذا على القفانة يشقير معها مرك هو يكستو واحد وقعد تاو إن إيده لفتر كذا هو رئيس الصو صارت جوري عن هو يكدم بين جوري معها أردي عن هو يفي عن كدم بين أردي معها مرك هو حاول هل كان وهم هاد علينا يا هو يكستو الصومالي أه طول لوقة الجبين دهنا يطول لوقة الجبين يبا وقعد كم هاد سنتي ما بقول كيو بقول إن تان هو حقدر لها هو ينك الصومالي ده نولا ده so the names that are selected from those will be the winners of tonight now I would like to make an announcement of the student with the highest GPA in, a, in the room tonight Dr. Abdunur just spoke about a student who was admitted to Ivy League colleges in, uh, in Minnesota. We have one in the house. She has a GPA of 4.72. Amal Abdi is the winner. She has... She has been admitted to all of the Ivy League colleges and universities, and she selected Harvard University. Um, so, we have the first one. Uh, maybe we call all people. If you did not hear me, Amal is going to Harvard University. Wow. 
want the students to come up yet. When we call you to come, that's when you come. For now, Russell, who is the, uh, with the Felikinger legal group, will be saying words of wisdom. He's a very wise man, a lawyer, a philanthropist, somebody who really contributes to our community. And, you know, if you get into an accident or you get injured, you know where to go. Russell is at Eastern. So, uh, Russell will be saying a few words in the meantime, and we'll continue with the selection process. Good evening. Um, I've been privileged to do this now for seven years. First thing I want to do is to congratulate all of you graduating seniors, the families, friends, teachers. Give everybody a big round of applause. You guys are very, very special. The worst thing you can do at this time when everybody is on edge to see who's going to get the scholarships is to let an attorney talk in the microphone. So I apologize, but I am going to speak for a little while. This is a very, very fun night for me. The reason is I've been representing Somalis for over 20 years. They have opened their homes to me. They've introduced me to their family members, their babies, their elders, everyone in the family. They actually made us during the soccer tournament two years ago, honorary Somali citizens with our robes and hats and everything else and we were very privileged. He said, we keep track. He said, education is very, very important to Somali people. He said, we understand the importance of that. And I started thinking, well, maybe that's the way we could pass it on. So shortly thereafter, we founded Somali Pride, which is our nonprofit foundation. It's called Pass It On and tonight we're going to be giving out scholarship money. The scholarship money that we are giving out is $500. It's no strings attached because a lot of scholarship money says you can do this, you can do that. This is just yours to use however you want to. The only thing we ask is sometime in your life you do something for someone else not expecting anything else in return and you pass it on please. With that, hopefully we will have the names very shortly and we will give it out. And again, we just ask that at some point you pass it on. And I would ask all of you who do receive a scholarship tonight, in the future, if you would like to come back here and tell everyone what you did to pass it on, we would love to hear that. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, it's the time we've all been waiting for. Um, time to congratulate the scholarship winners. But even if you don't win, congratulations on graduating. Um, it's Uh, so first I'll call Amal Abdi um, for, uh, you guys can come stand up here, we'll give the, um, the scholarships after we call all the names, but sh um, she graduated from Western High School with a 4.72 GPA and she'll be going to Harvard inshallah. Congratulations Amal. Okay, next I will... Um, these are the six guys and six girls. Um, next, I would like to congratulate Marian Liban from Columbus Alternative High School. Can you guys please come up and make a line, one for the guys and girls? And the next winner is, drum roll please, um, Abdiqani Ahmed from Dublin Kaufman School. Right, next is Nimr Suleiman from West Wasak High School. Right. Next we have Abdi Karim Mohammed from Gehana Lincoln. Firdosa Hashi from Horizon. I can't read Rice, I think from Pickerton High School, North. Nimra Issa um, from Metro High School. Khalid Mohammed, Metro Early College High School. Safiya Mahmoud. Yeah, yeah, I can't say yeah. Yaqub um, from Central Crossing High School. 
Habib Bare from Westville North. And, and last but not least, Ridwan Mohammed from Westville North High School. All right, we'll be giving congratulations to all the scholarship winners. Um, can I get a round of applause for them? Ya 